In the film, there's all sorts of different types of music. There's music that Joe plays. For shiggity. I want to create what I consider user-friendly jazz to give it a sense of accessibility for those who may not be jazz listeners or jazz fans. I thought about him having this transcendent quality to his playing because he goes into this zone that sends him into this other world that only a few musicians have the pleasure of going to. It's the sublime experience of not just hearing music, but feeling it all throughout your being. And it takes you to a completely different place. You can tell when you're playing something and you hear people gasp and they go, Like, you can feel the energy. And it's not just about what you plan, but it's how you, you vibe with it. Traditionally, we will work pretty exclusively on picture and really pour our hearts into the sound design and the music only once the picture is locked. The way we've approached the music on this movie has been really exciting for me because we've had the composers involved for over a year now. Creating a score with improvisation is a bit of a counterintuitive experience because you want to create something that works for the specific scene, for the specific length of that scene, to carry that narrative forward. It plays against picture pretty well if it's pretty... Yeah. And to make it all have the impact emotionally. I thought about things he would listen to if he grew up in the 60s and 70s, then he gets into jazz and he gets into piano. Jazz for Joe is very personal. His father was a musician, and I think he's tapping into something that's in his heritage, in his culture, in the way he walks down the street. It's just who he is. <laughs> <laughs> 